Today you're going to be making your selfie digital sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can show you how to do this. All right, so the first thing that you want to do to create your digital sketch is go to our team's site and open up our team. Once you're on our site, you want to go to our assignments tab and you're going to see that you have a new assignment today that says selfie digital sketch. So I want to go ahead and open up this assignment. When you open it up, you'll see the instructions. It says to open the attached PowerPoint. You're going to follow the directions that are on slide one. Then when you're done making your PowerPoint, you're going to close the PowerPoint and then you're of course going to hit the turn it in button. So as you can see right down here, there is an attached PowerPoint. You want to go ahead and open that. When you open it, if you look at slide number one, it has all of your directions. So step number one says to open the PowerPoint in the desktop app. When you come up here, there's a button up at the top that says open in the desktop app. That's what you want to press so that you can open your PowerPoint. So I've already done that here. The reason why you want to open it in that desktop app is because the desktop app has a lot more picture editing tools than the uh, the online version of PowerPoint does. So direction number two says to copy and paste your selfie into slide two. So I'm going to go ahead and go to slide two. Um, it says on here, copy and paste your selfie portrait filling the entire slide. So I have my slide already copied. I'm just going to come over here and paste it in. And as you can see, my selfie slide, my particular selfie already has, uh, it's filling that entire slide, okay? So if I go back to step number three here, it says enlarge to fill the entire slide. I've already done that. Step number four says crop if necessary to make the fit, make the selfie fit the dimensions of the slide. So you wanna have no negative space on the slide and you want to make sure that your selfie doesn't extend past the edges of the slide. So if your selfie is like long and narrow, or if your selfie is too small, you want to make sure that you're pulling your selfie from the corner, make it fit the entire slide. Now, if your selfie is not the same dimensions, you might need to double click on the selfie, crop it so that it's going to fit the exact same shape and size of that slide. You can also crop it if you just want to change the composition. If I want to get rid of a little of the negative space in my selfie, I can do that. And then I just want to make sure that I pull my selfie from the corner. Now you can see here where it's not completely filling the slide. I would just need to double click on that and then extend it so that it fills the entire slide. Once your selfie fits the entire slide without any negative space and it comes all the way to the edges of the slide without extending past it, we're going to go ahead and go to step number five. Step number five says to change your selfie to black and white. So I'm going to come back to my slide. I'm going to double click on my picture and then I'm going to come up here to where it says color. I'm going to click on color and I'm going to go to the very first one right here, which is my black and white value scale. So I'm going to change my picture to black and white. Step number six says to apply the cut out artistic effect to your selfie. So I'm going to come back to my selfie again, double click on the picture and you're going to see right up here in that picture uh, editing tool menu. It says artistic effects. I'm going to click on that and there's a bunch of different artistic effects. When you hover over the artistic effect, it tells you what the name of it is. So as you can see, this one is called chalk sketch. This one is the mosaic. I'm going to come all the way down here to this bottom one on the far left and it says cut out. I'm going to click on that. Now, as you can see, it did change my slide or my picture to the cut out effect, but it needs some adjusting. So I'm going to come right back up to artistic effects. I'm going to come down to where it says artistic effect options and I'm going to click on that. Now I can play around with my artistic effect a little bit right here where it says number of shades. I can click on this and every time I make it have more shades, it's going to sharpen my picture or maybe give me a uh, better detail. So I am looking at number six. I'm thinking that number six is probably the one that I want to use. It only goes up to number six uh, because in number five, I'm missing part of my mouth. 
And number four is not bad. Number four would actually be a pretty good one too. Uh, number three is probably not good. I don't have much of an eye going on there on the right. Number two is probably not good either. So I'm thinking probably number four or even better, I'm gonna go with number six. Okay, so make sure that you play around with the number of shades and get it to look the way that you want it. Uh, come back to my directions. Um, in step number seven says to adjust contrasts if necessary. So when I changed my color picture to black and white, it actually is looking pretty gray. I wanna get a little more contrast in my uh, values here. So I'm gonna again, double click on the picture, I'm gonna this time come up here to corrections and I'm gonna hover around to try and get a little more contrast. So I think this one looks pretty good because now I have some nice light values, some nice medium values. I have nice contrast between my values. It's not overall too gray in color. Uh, come back to my directions here. Step number eight says to copy and paste the grid from slide number three over the entire selfie portrait. So I'm gonna to come to my slide number three. I'm just gonna click onto that grid. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna come back to my picture. I'm going to paste it over top of my picture. And then I am done. I might double check to make sure that I got all my directions. Once you are completely finished, you're gonna go ahead and just exit out of the PowerPoint and then click the turn it in button on Teams.